the man alak 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 what's going on everybody uh i am your host team dumas this is uh the monologue um this is probably one of the best podcasts you ever listened to in your life um if you heard podcasts before this one is probably better and uh, if you haven't uh, heard a podcast yet or this is the only podcast you've listened to. Just uh, don't waste your time because the Western is just fucking garbage. Um, it's primosounds.com, by the way. Uh, that's where the show airs uh, live every Sunday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, it's 5 o'clock uh, p.m. here in Germany, by the way. Um, if you don't live in those two time zones, I'm sorry. I don't really know. I mean, you know, I can't figure out where everybody lives. But you can just take it from there. Uh, do your little research. You'll figure out what time it uh, airs in your time zone. If you can't catch it live, it is uh, you can catch it on my YouTube channel. Let's go to YouTube, hit that search bar, type in Team Dumas. It'll take you to my channel. You can see the, this episode, the rest of the episodes. And I got a little stand-up content on there, man. I can do it all, dude. Multi-talented, whatever you need. Um, if uh, that isn't good enough for you, you know, you need some more entertainment. You need some more jokes. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 this is how the world is, man. People just want more and more and more. And I'm here to provide it to you. You can just go to uh, Instagram. You can follow me there, at Long Live the Team. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Long Live the Team, Facebook.com, slash Team Dumas, man. Uh, a lot of people, it's kind of a sad week, man. A lot of people motherfucking died this week, man. It's kind of R.I.P., R I motherfucking P, uh, rest in peace to the uh, Democratic Party, who has their new chairman, as in uh, Tom Perez. Uh, R I P to the uh, fight between Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. Uh, R I P to uh, Nicki Minaj, uh, and her. I won't say her career is over, but definitely this week she motherfucking died, dude. And uh, it was just a. Uh, just a week full of death, man. Before we get into that, though, it, it was just, uh, this is the last weekend in February, Black History Month, dude. So uh, don't let this uh, time go to waste, man. You still have time to uh, do a little research, uh, learn a little more about uh, your black history. Um, for our last week, we are going to uh, honor a uh, pioneer in black history, um, date, date, dates don't matter for this. Like, like he's so iconic that um, it transcends time. Uh, so for our last Black History Month episode of the monologue uh, for 2017, we're going to give it up to motherfucking Billy D. Williams, dog. The first motherfucker to introduce to everyone Code 45. And if you know anything about Code 45, you will know that it works. Every time, dude. So, shout out to Billy D. Williams for introducing a malt liquor that uh, not only tastes shitty, but uh, if you drink enough of it, it will fuck you up every motherfucking time, dude. Shout out to him. Like I said, last pick up of February, Black History Month, man. Do your research. Um, I'm not going to get too political in the show because, you know, it's... I wouldn't say it's hard following politics. It's really easy if you just want to take your time, but not many people do. Just know that Trump is about to win uh, uh, the next election. Uh, Tom Perez is the head of the DNC. Um, I said I wasn't going to get too political, but here we go, man. I'm I'm about to just knock it out right quick. So, of course, as you know, uh, Trump won the presidency. He ran against Hillary Clinton, and the Democratic Party pretty much made it so Hillary Clinton could win. Uh, They bullied Bernie Sanders out of his spot. They elevated Trump, thinking Hillary could easily defeat Trump in the president's election because Trump is pretty much a uh, misogynistic reality TV show host with no political background. you think that would be easy dub, but no, because Hillary Clinton uh, was probably the worst uh, candidate to run for the Democratic Party in a very long time. Uh, she lost convincingly to Donald Trump, and uh, ever since then, uh, ever since that whole ordeal, uh, the Democratic Party has just been in shambles, and they continue their downward, downward spiral by... Uh, putting this chairman to the top. Um, the, the, the main thing I remember about uh, Perez is pretty much him saying that uh, Bernie Sanders was trash and that, you know, that they need to have Hillary Clinton be the president. Um, 
I am not an economics economist, I should say. Economist? Economist? Whatever the fuck. I'm not one of those. Um, but Bernie Sanders, he did have a lot of uh a lot of uh momentum behind him with the young people. You know what I'm saying? So hey. Another four years of Trump, dog. Just go ahead, get your motherfucking Make America Great Again hats now. Uh if you are of uh, Mexican descent, I'm sorry. You gotta just look for homes. In uh, Mexico, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm probably, you know, uh, property value of Mexico is probably going through the roof, dude. Like, if I was uh, a Mexican landlord, I'd be raising rent like a motherfucker. Because everybody going back. Everybody going back to Mexico, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, the population about the motherfucking double. Because Trump is sending them back. Um, sad to say that, but that is going to happen. And uh, if you are a person in the Middle East, I would uh, start investing in bomb shelters because it's about to start raining, dude. Trump ain't bullshitting, dog. When Obama came through, Obama came through. He was on his shit, though, but he was nice about it. Like, you know, Trump ain't going to be nice about it, dude. So just go ahead. get your make I got my Make America Great Again hat, by the way. $9.99 on Amazon. Uh, I was rocking it. And uh, I felt a little bit of the white privilege uh, that the hat contains rubbing off on me dude like i put the hat on and uh i just checked my echo fact after that my credit score jumped about 20 points dude um it feels great like uh like i i was driving a uh, police officer was behind me i ain't even motherfucking get nervous dude that's the type of power that that make america great against hat so not only should you buy it because we're going to have a full eight years of trump but also buy it so you can get some of that white privilege uh to rub off on you man 9.99 on amazon Probably one of the best uh, purchases I ever made, man. Actually, I'm probably about to get 100 plus viewers off of uh, 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 on my podcast. Well, listeners, I should say, on my podcast, just for rocking that Make America Great Again hat, man. That's how good it is. But RIP to the Democratic Party. RIP to their chances of, of uh, stopping Trump from winning uh, both elections. Because he's about to get both these motherfuckers, man. Uh, so, in other news, or I should say in Negro news... Uh, the fight that no one wanted to see happen, man. Soldier Boy versus Chris Brown. That has been called off. Thankfully, dude. Thankfully. Because I hate seeing violent. I hate seeing black on black violence, dude. Especially since it's black on black violence. Unless it's uh, the World Star Fight Comp. I will watch a good 25 minutes of black people knocking the fuck out of each other on World Star. But other than that, man. Other than that, I am very much against senseless uh, black on black violence. And I, I say this senseless because they, they aren't like professional fighters or anything like that. Professional fighter isn't like, you know, senseless violence, dude. That's entertainment. But they're, these guys aren't fighters, dude. Chris Brown is a singer and dancer, and Soldier Boy is a whatever the fuck Soldier Boy does. So I'm glad this fight got called off. Uh, Chris Brown, it got called off because Chris Brown said he didn't want to do it. That it was a fucking, it was pretty much going to be a clown show. And I pretty much agree with him, dude. No one wanted to see. The only reason that people wanted to see this is he told your boy to knock the fuck out. That's pretty much the only reason people want to see this dude. Um, told your boy is like 110 pounds, soaking wet. Like he wasn't. Like he's not really a threat to anybody. If told your boy came up to me in the streets, I slapped the dog shit out of him, dude, and fucking tell him I did it. Actually, I should do it, dude. I should slap the dog shit out of him and put it on my Twitter, and Instagram, dude. I'll probably fucking get some followers and blow up. But anyway, I'm glad the fight didn't happen. I'm glad. Uh. The nigga tree has come to an end, and I'm glad that uh, we won't have to see that dude. Like, because it was a lot of uh, like a like a low low tier rappers and low tier entertainers starting like fake beef so they can get on that card. And I really believe if the fight did happen and uh, it was money to be made off of it, you probably would see a bunch of like shitty rappers uh, trying to get in the ring and box to make up for their shitty 360 deals that they're signed to. Um, so I'm glad that didn't happen. Uh, speaking of uh, shitty 360 degree deals, uh, Nicki Minaj, man. I uh, believe uh, Nicki Minaj, uh, you probably going to see her in the milk carton because she's probably not going to show her face no time soon, dude. She's probably in a factory full of uh, ghostwriters. And by full of ghostwriters, I mean uh, Drake, Lil Wayne, and her ex Safari. And they're probably just getting together and just drumming up a uh, comeback. For the uh, diss that uh, Remy Ma put on her. So Remy Ma, uh, this weekend, dropped the diss on uh, Nicki Minaj titled Sheether. Um, it was pretty much the female. Uh, she, she named it that because the female version of Ether. Ether, the song that Nas you know, put out about Jay-Z. Um, used the same beat and everything. Which is kind of crazy because uh, I think that, um, if I'm not mistaken, Remy Ma's from Brooklyn. 
and uh, Nicki Minaj is from Queens. So if you would look at it like that, Remy Ma probably should use the takeover beat to diss Nicki. But that's neither here nor there, though. Um, so she pretty much uh, just outed Nicki for having a fake ass, for uh, having a shitty deal, uh, for fucking and sucking her way to the top. Uh, just a myriad of uh, terrible things. Now, uh, Little Kim pretty much said all the same things about uh, Nicki Minaj uh, long ago. Um, back when Little Kim and Nicki Minaj had the little beef, because Little Kim saying was saying that Nicki Minaj was like stealing her style, which is true. Like you know, she stole, pretty, she pretty much stole Little Kim style and ran with it. But no one really took Little Kim serious because she looked like. A treasure, like she looks like a treasure troll, dude. Like one of like little fucking little tiny treasure troll dolls with like the fucking green and purple afros and shit. I take that back. I take that back, man. She doesn't look like that. She looks like one of the little treasure trolls, like the little tiny dolls with the purple or like green afros and shit. But if you took that doll, then you put it in a microwave and you put that motherfucker on two minutes and the fucking troll melted. Then you took it out and let it harden. Like that's what little Kim looks like now. Uh, she pretty much like she bleached her skin. Just like deformed her motherfucking face. She's getting ass shots. You can't be 40 plus years old getting ass shots, mom. I mean, say that for the young hoes trying to fucking come up in the game. Like, if you an old hoe, just have your ass the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got a fucking R to your body. You know what I'm saying? But that's why no one's been taking Lil' Kim serious, dude. Because she looks like something like your dog with the shit out, dude. Like, she is hor- horrible. Horrible. She looks like a fucking small female job of the hut, dude. That's the fuck she looks like. So no one's really taking uh little Kim serious anymore. But uh so Remy Ma came through, bodied her. I mean uh b- b- body uh Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Um she doesn't know whether she caught this body because she was fucking with Meek Mill so long and L's are contagious. Uh but what happened was a lot of people don't know why Remy Ma uh Came up to Nicki Minaj. So I guess they had like a little uh a little back and forth for a long time. Not anything on wax, like, you know, a whole song or anything like that. But you know, Remy Ma just got out of jail. You know, and she's trying to, you know, get the uh, you know, uh get the crown back of being the uh the uh the queen of rap, especially New York rap. You know, so Remy Ma wants that. And that crown is uh currently held by Nicki Minaj, you know. So, uh, you know, Remy Ma trying to get a little buzz around her name. She did just drop that, um, well, not just drop, but she did drop that uh, all the way up with Fat Joe, pretty much lean back part two. So I'm pretty much, you know, she, she got a little buzz from that. I'm pretty sure she got a little paper from that too. But uh, she still need that buzz, man. And the best way to get some buzz is to go after somebody. But but Nikki did kind of the one who started it, though. Well, I want to say this, Brad Beef, because earlier in the weekend, uh, a song came out. It was a uh, Gucci Mane. Uh, featuring Nicki Minaj, title was like love or something. I don't know. Like, like I told y'all, like episode zero, the the uh, the uh, the fact checking that's going to go on the show minimal at best. So I think it's like called love or something. And uh, Nicki Minaj had dropped some shit talking about some how you know you can't be the best if you don't have the record sales to back it up. Like you ain't got no plaques, you ain't selling no records, so you can't be the best. So then that uh, proceeded Remy Ma to just get to go on like the verbal assassination. The happy of Nicki Minaj. Like, it was so bad that people that's not even, like, really in the rap was talking about how bad that shit was, dude. Like, the the memes, the fucking video. Just, it's kind of like when when Drake had a uh, body to meet me with back-to-back, how all the fucking memes and fucking videos and shit dropped, like, instantaneously. That's how the fuck this shit with Remy Ma against Nicki Minaj was, dude. Like, the, 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 just the memes alone. Like, it'd be hard for Nicki Minaj to come back from that, dude. And uh, one thing I'm trying to figure out is where this whole Remy Ma fan base came from. I think if Remy Ma was to uh, release an album probably next week, uh, maybe two copies would be sold. Well, probably three. Uh, five, five. She would sell five copies. Like, one to her. Like, she buy one. Uh, Papoose would buy one. Uh, Fat Joe would probably buy one. Her mom and her best friend. Well, she shot her best friend. So, four <laughs> four albums probably be bought by Remy Ma. So, I'm not really sure where everybody, you know, all the Remy Ma fans came from. But people just like seeing ratchet shit, dude. People do like seeing uh, just just like car wrecks, dude. And that's what the fuck this is. It's one big car wreck. So R.I.P. to uh, Nicki Minaj's career, dude. But she can come back, though. All she has to do, maybe, like I said, she has to get her, get, get her fucking ghostwriters together. 
you know. Uh, text Safari, send him that motherfucking hey big, te uh, that hey big head text. See what he's up to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, call up Drake, call up Lil Wayne. The, the three of them together could come up with a track that could fucking just uh, destroy Remy Ma. I'm pretty sure they can. Uh, so hey, hopefully this thing keeps going, man. See, th th this is what hip hop is all about, dude. Like we need just the just the songs, dude. Put the songs out about each other. Let us create these memes. Let us create these videos and let us get these jokes, dude. No one wants to see nobody get no motherfucking ring and embarrass themselves, dude. So just keep it up with this, and uh, that's what the world needs, man. The world, the I, the world, pretty much runs on memes. Anything that can keep some hot memes going, I'm all about. So uh, this was the, uh, the this was the monologue. Uh, I will uh, see you guys next week. I love you all. Um, if you do, if you are listening to this, if you are listening to this on YouTube and you do like the video, just uh, like it, leave a comment, share it, do what you got to do. But I will see you guys next week. Uh, peace out.